Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video we are going to be making these little lions. They are mostly no sew. We are going to start with the arms and legs and move on starting at the top of the head and we'll work our way down attaching the arms, doing the body, attaching the legs, and then doing the eyes and stuffing and closing. Then we will have to attach the ears, the muzzle, the nose, and then do the eyebrows and the little toes. I'll be using a number four medium weight yarn, a 4.25 millimeter hook, and 14 millimeter safety eyes. This is a crochet along, so I will be doing every stitch with you. And I will also be providing a drop down at the top of the screen with the pattern instructions for the first 30 seconds of every row for you to follow along with. And don't forget, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share, hit the bell. Not only will that help me out, but you will also be notified every time I load a new video. Um, I think that's everything, so grab your yarn and let's get started. We are going to begin with the arms and the legs. They are all exactly the same except for the last row of the arms. So we will be making four of them. And you can begin any way you prefer as long as we have the same amount of stitches in row one. And what I like to do is make a knot with the loop on the end as if you were going to make a chain. And then I insert my hook into that loop, grab my yarn, pull through, chain one, and that does not count as a stitch. That just attaches our yarn to our loop. And for row one, we are going to do six single crochets into our loop. One, make sure you're going over your tail. Two, three, four, five, six, and then pull that tail tight to close up that little hole that's left there. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, we are going to do six increases. So that's two single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 12. So increase one and two. Increase three and four. Increase five and six. Increase seven and eight, increase nine and ten, and on our last increase we're going to be changing color so we're going to do our first single crochet and then our second single crochet we're going to grab our yarn pull up and through and then leave those two loops on the hook. Cut your um, paw pad color and then grab your base color and tie that on nice and close to the hook two or three times so you're tying your old color to your new color And now you're going 
grab that new color and pull it through those last two loops to finish off the increase and the last stitch of your previous row. For row three, you're gonna do one single crochet, one increase, repeat that pattern all the way around for a total of 18. So one single crochet, increase, two and three, and then repeat that around. Four, increase, five and six, seven, increase, eight and nine, 10, increase, 11 and 12, Thirteen, increase, fourteen and fifteen, sixteen, increase, seventeen and eighteen. Row four, we are going to do two single crochets one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. So one, two, increase, three, and four. And repeat that all the way around. Five, six, increase, seven, and eight. 9, 10, increase, 11 and 12, 13, 14, increase, 15 and 16, 17, 18, increase, 19 and 20. 21, 22, increase, 23, and 24. Rows 5 to 7 are going to be just 24 single crochets all the way around, and I'm going to do those consecutively. So that's three rows of 24, three times 24 four is 72. So I'm going to count to 72 and flip my marker every time I hit a set of 24. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure when it starts curving that it's curving away from you. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and I'm flipping my marker, but I'm going to keep on counting, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 
42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, flipping my marker, I'm going to keep on counting, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72. For row eight, we are going to be doing six single crochets, six invisible decreases, and then six single crochets for a total of 18. So six single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, Six. And then for our invisible decrease, we're going to go through the front loops only of the next two stitches. And if you've never done front loop, instead of going down under both sides of that V, you are going to just catch that front loop and come up through the center. Then you're going to do it on the next one. Well, here we go. So front loop only front loop only at the next stitch grab your yarn and pull through those two front loops and grab your yarn again and pull through the last two loops to finish off your single crochet so that's one invisible decrease two invisible decreases three invisible decrease Four invisible decrease. Five invisible decrease. Just remember the front loops. Oops, I missed a piece of string there. Still missing it. And six invisible decreases. Now we should have six single crochets to finish off the round. One, two, three, four, five, six. Row nine, we're going to do four single crochets, six invisible decreases, and then two single crochets for a total of 12. So one, two, three, four single crochets. And now we're going to do six invisible decreases. So remember front loop only. So that's one invisible decrease two invisible decreases three invisible decreases don't worry if they're tricky at first I have a problem doing them as well is that four? Five invisible decreases. And six invisible. 
visible decreases. And then you should have two single crochets left. One, two. Rows 10 to 18 are going to be 12 single crochets all the way around. And I'm going to do those consecutively. So that's nine rows. And nine times 12 is 108. So I'm going to do 108 single crochets. And then I'm going to flip my marker every time I hit a set of 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, flipping my marker, keep on counting, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, keep on counting, um, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, Flipping my marker, keep on counting. 85, 
86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 97, 98, 99, 100, I'm going back to 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now here is where the two arms and the two legs are going to be different. For the first two legs, we're going to stop here because they're going to fold this way so they can sit here on the bottom. And if you've done your first two legs for the two arms, you are going to do three more single crochets. So one, two, three. And then these ones will be folded on the sides. So they're like this. So you're going to have two like this. And two like this. All the toe, toes will be facing forward, but your um, where you end will be different. So you have two on the side and two on the back where you end. And then they'll all be stuffed and closed exactly the same way. So let's grab our stuffing. Let me take my stitch marker out. What we want to do is get the foot nice and firm and the point of the toe filled. So we're just going to come in and we're just going to kind of tuck our finger up into the point there and kind of spread it around. I'm doing little bits at a time so I don't get a big bulge. And when you're doing this, make sure you're not um, opening up the stitches there. So just keep that in mind. So what I do is I kind of come to the back of the heel and then kind of push it forward. Just kind of keeping the shape with my hand, palm of my hand. And then when you feel like you have it how you want it, you're just going to put a little bit in the um, top half. So you don't want this as firm because you want it to be able to hang down and curve around the body if you're doing the arm. And so for the arm, it'll be like this. So this is quite firm, not very firm. So you can close it up and pull it around his body. And then if you're doing the, the foot, it'll come like this and you want to have it in a triangle so that his um, belly and stuff don't make him tip backwards. So this one, I'm doing the arm. And to close it up, you're just going to fold it. And whether you're doing the arm or the leg, they're both exactly the same. You're going to go under that next stitch. And then you're going to go under the stitch on the other side. And we are going to do five single crochets across going through both the front and the back. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And then you're just going to tie that off, leaving a little bit of a tail even though we don't um, sew these on, I do do something with the tails to kind of secure the arms a bit. So let's give that a cut. 
and then pull it through. Now I am going to put a screenshot over in the next frame with a timestamp so you can go back and finish the rest of the legs. And if you are finished all four, just keep on watching and we will move on to the next part. Now we are going to start at the top of the head and remember you can start any way you prefer as long as you have the same amount of stitches in row one. I'll be making my knot with the loop on the end as if you're going to make a chain. Insert my hook, grab my yarn and chain one. And remember that does not count as a stitch. That just joins your yarn to your loop. And for row one, we are going to do six single crochets into the loop. So one, remember go over your tail. Two. Three. four, five, six. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, we are gonna do six increases. So that's two single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 12. So increase. One and two, increase, three and four, increase, five and six, increase, seven and eight, increase, nine and ten, And our last increase, 11 and 12. Row three, we're going to do one single crochet, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. One, increase, two and three, four, Increase, five and six, seven, increase, eight and nine, ten, increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, increase, 14 and 15, 16, and our last increase, 17 and 18. Row four, we're gonna do two single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, increase, three and four, five, six, increase, seven and eight, nine, ten, increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, Increase, 15 and 16. 17, 18, increase, 19 and 20. 21, 22, and our last increase, 23 and 24. Row five, we're going to do 
three single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. One, two, three, and an increase, four and five. Six, seven, eight, increase, nine and ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, increase, fourteen and fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, increase, nineteen and twenty. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, increase, twenty-four and twenty-five. Twenty-six, twenty-seven, 28, and our last increase, 29 and 30. Row six, we're gonna do four single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. One, two, three, four and an increase, five and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and an increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, and an increase, 17 and 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, and an increase, 23 and 24. 25, 26, 27, 28, and an increase, 29 and 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, and our last increase, 35 and 36. Row seven, we are going to do five single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 42. One, two, three, four, five, and an increase, six and seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and an increase, thirteen and fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And an increase, 20 and 21. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and an increase, 27 and 28. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 
and an increase, 34 and 35. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, and our last increase, 41 and 42. Rows 8 to 14 are going to be 42 single crochets all the way around. That's going to be 7 rows and I'm going to use my row counter. So starting with row 8, 42 single crochets all the way around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row eight. Another row of 42 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row 9. Another row of 42 single crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Well, that was row 10. Another row of 42 single crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, whoops, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row 11. Another row of 42 single crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 
32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row 12. Another row of 42 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row 13. So we're going to 14. So we have one more row of 42 single crochets. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was our 14th row of 42 single crochets. Row 15, we are going to do five single crochets, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. And I'm gonna be doing regular decreases. You feel free to do invisible if you prefer. One, two, three, four, 
five and a decrease for six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and a decrease for eighteen. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and a decrease for 24. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and a decrease for 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and a decrease for 36. Row 16, we are going to be doing four single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. One, two, three, four, and a decrease for five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a decrease for ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, and a decrease for 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and a decrease for 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and a decrease for 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and a decrease for 30. Row 17, we are going to do three single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, three, and a decrease for four, five, six, Seven and a decrease for eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, and a decrease for 16, 17, 18, 19, and a decrease for 20, 21, 22, 
23 and a decrease for 24. Row 18, we are going to do two single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. One, two, and a decrease for three. Four, five, and a decrease for six. Seven, eight, and a decrease for nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And a decrease for 15, 16, 17, and a decrease for 18. All right, now we're going to add the arms. So make sure you have the ones that have the strings coming towards the front of the toe. One and two. And we are going to do two single crochets. Then we're going to do five single crochets through the arm and the head. Then we're going to do four single crochets across. Then we're going to do five single crochets through the arm and the head. And then we should have two single crochets left to finish off um, the rest of the row. And I will put that up across the top in case you need to take a little more time. So two single crochets. One, two. Now make sure you know this is your back here. So when you grab your first leg, you're going to make sure the toe and the string are pointing towards the front. And you're going to do five single crochets across through the arm and through the body. And make sure you're going in the right stitch because these stitches do stretch. So this is a stitch, but it might look like that's your next stitch. So one single crochet through the arm and the head. Through the arm and the head for two single crochets. Through the arm and the head for three single crochets. Do the arm and the head for four single crochets. And through the arm and the head for five single crochets. Now you're gonna do four single crochets across, so make sure you're in the right stitch. One, two, three, four. Now you're going to grab your second arm and this time again make sure they're pointing towards the front and your string is on the front and you're going to do five single crochets across through the arm and the next stitch of the bot or the head, sorry. One through the arm and the head. Oops, two through the arm and the head. That's three through the arm. And the head, that's four, through the arm, and through the head, that's five, and then we should have two left. One, whoops, two, 
and that was for a total of 18 stitches. Row 20, we are going to do two single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 24, and when you get to these strings, um, make sure they're sticking on the outside because we'll be pulling them through at the end to tighten up the arms. One, two, and an increase, three and four, five, six, and an increase, seven and eight, nine, ten, and an increase, eleven and twelve. 13, 14, and an increase, 15 and 16, 17, 18, and an increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, and an increase, 23 and 24. Row 21, we are just gonna do 24 single crochets all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Row 22, we are going to do three single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. One, two, three, and an increase, four and five, six, seven, eight, and an increase, nine and 10. 11, 12, 13, and an increase, 14 and 15. 16, 17, 18, and an increase, 19 and 20. 21, 22, 23, and an increase, 24 and 25. 26, 27, 28, and an increase, 29 and 30. Row 23 is gonna be four single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. One, two, 
three, four, and an increase, five and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and an increase, eleven and twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, and an increase, 17 and 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and an increase, 23 and 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and an increase, 29 and 30, 31, 32, oops, 33, 34, and an increase, 35 and 36. Rows 24 to 29 are going to be 36 single crochets all the way around. And I will be using my row counter again. So row 24. 36 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So that was row 24. Another row of 36 single crochets. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 
27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So that was row 25. Another row of 36 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So that was row 26. Another row of 36 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, that was row 27. Another row of 36 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, oops, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, well, that was row 28. We're going to 29, so we have one more row. 36 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, and that was row twenty-nine. Row 30, we are going to do four single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. So one, two, three, four, and a decrease, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and a decrease for ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and a decrease for fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, and a decrease for 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and a decrease for 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and a decrease for 30. Row 31, we are gonna do three single crochets, one decrease, Repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. So one, two, 
three and a decrease for four. Five, six, seven, and a decrease for eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and a decrease for sixteen. 17, 18, whoopsie, 19, and a decrease for 20, 21, 22, 23, and a decrease for 24. Okay, now we're going to mark um, for our arms and legs, I mean our eyes and legs, sorry. So what you want to do is figure out um, him flat and centered so his arms are in the exact right spot. He's flat out like this. Let me turn this down a bit. Oops, first that happened. Alright, for the eyes, we are going to count down to be between rows 9 and 10. So you're going to find your beginning loop right there. So that'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So right between 9 and 10 there. Then so you're just going to... Um, kind of eyeball where you think the center is and I like to use my stitches where I did the arms so I just kind of count the holes over so that's about my center and I kind of come up to here so I think I'm gonna move right there and I'm going in a bar of a stitch not in a hole so see I'm in there I'm not in a hole and then I am going to count over four holes from my pin. So the one right beside my pin is one, two, three, four. And I'm going to go into that stitch. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So that's where my pin is right there. So that's my first hole. One, two, three, four. And I'm using 14 millimeter eyes on this one. Just have a look. Make sure you're happy with where they're sitting. And they still look centered. If I look up from my arms where my last stitch is, they're just kind of on the outside of my eye here. And I'm happy with that. So I am going to put my backs on. Good squeeze, lesson for the clicks. Do the other side. Give it a good squeeze. Okay, now keeping that flat and centered, I'm going to show you. Um, where to mark your legs. You shouldn't need to unless you are way off from where I am sitting right now. Usually it's about eight single crochets over, but if for some reason you are not in the same spot. Oh, I forgot I broke this guy. Oh well, I can still use him. Um, 
So when you have him flat and centered like this, you want to have 12 um, stitches in the front and 12 stitches in the back. So worry about the front ones. Starting from one side, just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And that is where your first stitch of your leg will go. So now you're going to grab your legs and hopefully you now have these two left. So when they're pointing, the flat side is facing you. Your strings are on the side. I did sew one arm backwards once. After how many times I say make sure they're the right way. I think it was my uh, elf I did backwards. So just double check. It's a lot easier to take it apart now and re-put an arm on than it is to get all the way done and closed and realize that you got the wrong piece on. All right, so for row 32, if we're both in, if we're all in the same, what is with this? If we're all in the same spot, it should be eight single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we'll, that's where our marker is for our first leg. If you're a little off, just adjust your stitches grab your first leg and you want your leg to be pointing the toe to be pointing down towards the face and the front because when he's upside down so when you flip him to sit you want his foot to be the right way and now we're gonna do just like the arms we're gonna do five single crochets across through the leg and through the body So that's one single crochet, a second through the arm, or sorry, the leg and the body, another through the leg and the body, that's three through the leg, and the next stitch of the body, that's four, and through the leg and the next stitch of the body. That's five. Now we're going to do two single crochets across and you can just tuck these strings inside out of your way. So one single crochet, two single crochets. And then grab your other leg and again make sure the point of the toe is facing towards the head and the front of the body. And we're going to do five single crochets across through the leg and through the body. So one through the leg. And the next stitch of the body, that's two through the leg. And the next stitch of the body, that's three through the leg. And the next stitch of the body, that's four. And our last one through the leg and the next stitch of the body. And then we should have four single crochets left. One, two, three, four. 
and I missed I missed tucking that in so I'm just gonna use my hook and grab that so it's on the inside if you want you can tie them together just so they're out of your way but if you do tie them make sure you tie them loosely so that they're not pulling your stitches and your little body tighter or smaller than it should be so see that's really loose so it'll just sit down against there okay let's add a little stuffing now So I'm going to be putting a lot into the head. I want the head to be fairly firm um, and round and you're kind of be shaping it as you're going. So make sure you're not making it lumpy on one side or lopsided. What I like to do when I get a, a decent amount in there I take my fingers down into the center and I just kind of push it all out to the sides. Oh my god, my camera. It's doing really good too. So just push that to the side and it also makes a little well in the middle so that you can shove your next batch up inside there. Now our lion I kind of wanted to have a little longer and narrower face. So just as you're going to squish it to shape, you can kind of shape it a bit after as long as you're stuffed fairly even. And make sure when you're stuffing, you're not opening up these decreased stitches around the head or the neck. I think he needs a little bit more. And then, okay, I gotta be careful now. I'm starting to stretch my stitches. All right, so it's fairly round right now, but later on you can kind of smush that in. So put a little bit in the body. The body doesn't have to be as firm, but you do want to make sure that he's going to sit. So you want to get a little bit in the back to give him that stability. Because when we finish him off, we want the rest of him to be kind of flat on the bottom. So see, I got his little kind of butt Kind of pushed out a little more on that side. That's good for me for now. Depending on how you finish yours, we're going to have two or three rows left. Okay, so for row 33, we are going to do two single crochets one decrease repeat that all the way around for a total of 18 and i'm going to be doing invisible decreases so this will take me i'll be going probably fairly slow on this round so one two and a decrease for three and remember invisible decreases you go through the front loops and you only grab your yarn the one time whoops single crochet four five and a decrease for six, seven, 
eight and a decrease for nine. Probably could have put a little less stuffing in here. 10, 11, and a decrease for 12. Thirteen, fourteen, and a decrease for fifteen. I can get in there. Nope. There we go. Sixteen, seventeen, and a decrease for eighteen. Row thirty four, we are going to be doing one single crochet, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. So one. And a decrease for two. Three. And a decrease. For four. five and a decrease for six seven and a decrease for eight nine And a decrease for 10, 11, and a decrease for 12. Now the next row should be six decreases, but sometimes I find when I do the invisible decrease, you don't need that many, otherwise you get a little bump um, here. So we're just going to decrease until you feel like your um, hole is closed. And I'm going to do invisible still. So one decrease. Two decreases, three decreases. Let's check your hole. I think I'm going to do one more at least. Four decreases, If you're trying this in plush yarn, you probably don't need to do this row at all. So I've got four decreases and I think that's small enough for me. So I'm stopping. Um, if you need to do two more. And we're going to cut this, leaving a bit of a tail to close it up. So grab your darning needle. I'm going to take this out too. And you're just going to weave back and forth on the top loops. A 
of your previous row stitches. So we might have all a different amount. If you have tried this in the plush yarn, what I like to do is go halfway, then pull it, and then do the other half. And then there's not a big a chance of you um, snapping your yarn. And then pull it all the way through when you're done. You see, I do have a tiny little bump right there. So I'm going to use that as my tying knot stitch. So I'll just put one or two whoops, knots in the bottom. Tricky. I'm trying to hold it up in the air with one hand and tie with the other. There we go. And then just slide that in the center somewhere and out the back anywhere. And give it a little bit of a tug and you can hide that knot down on the inside. And then we might as well put the arm strings in now as well. So all you're going to do is thread one of your ends onto your needle. You're going to put it down right in that last stitch where you sewed or put the arm on. And you're going to come out the back in the center around the neck somewhere. And then you're going to do the same thing for the other string. You can go right in that same stitch where you ended your arm. And then you're going to come back out the same stitch that you brought your other piece of string through. Then you're going to give them one tie making sure your ends stay um, separate. I like to wrap them around the neck and then I don't lose track of which is which. And then you can just pull that tight and kind of bring your arms in and the knots uh, where you ended your arms will kind of go on the inside. Um, this one doesn't have to come in too much. I'm happy with that. Remember, they will relax a little bit over time. And then give it a better tie. And then you'll just thread those ends back into the body somewhere to hide them. So we'll just come out anywhere. It's time to start making him look a little bit more like a lion. All right, now we're going to do the muzzle, and you will have to do the knot with the loop on the end because we will be chaining on this one. Just a tiny little loop if you can. And we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll be starting our next row going around both sides of this chain, starting in the second loop from the hook. So the one on your hook does not count. This will be your first chain, and this will be your second chain. So in the first end, 
Okay, starting in the second chain, we are going to do one single crochet. And then in the middle, we are going to do two single crochets across. So one, two, and in the other end, we are going to put three single crochets, turning our work as we go so we end up back on this side. So one, two, and turn it a little bit as you go here. And your third one, you should be flipped all the way around. So all three of those stitches went in the same end stitch. Now you're going to do two single crochets across. One, two. And then you're going to do two single crochets in the end on this side. One, two. And you should have something that looks like this. A total of ten stitches around. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, we are going to start with an increase. So increase one and two. Then we're going to do two single crochets across. One, two, and then we're going to do three increases around this other end. So increase one and two, second increase one and two in that same stitch and our third increase one and two in that same stitch. Now we're going to do two single crochets across. One, two. Now we're going to do two increases in the next two stitches. So one increase, one and two, and our second increase, one and two. Whoops. And we should have a total of 16 stitches for this row. Row three, we're going to do one single crochet and one increase on this end. So one single crochet, one increase, then we're going to do our two single crochets across, one, two, and now we're going to do one single crochet, one increase, three times around this end. So one single crochet, one increase, that's once, one single crochet, one increase, that's twice, one single crochet, one increase, that's three times. Now we're going to do our two single crochets across, one, two, and now we're going to do one single crochet, one increase, two times on this end. So one single crochet, one increase, that's once, one single crochet, one increase, that'll be twice, and on this second one, After we're done our second increase, we are going to slip stitch into the next stitch and tie off. Um, you don't need any kind of a tail, but maybe do it twice just so it doesn't go anywhere. So 
So this is the front of his muzzle. And now you're going to grab um, your base color. And you're going to make another knot with a loop on the end. We're going to be attaching this one. And you're just going to come, this is going to be the bottom where we attach. So you're just going to come somewhere in the middle, as close as you can, be to the middle. And you're just going to attach that, grab your yarn, and pull through. Now, we are going to do for rows four to six. 22 single crochets around and when you get to this knot um, sometimes it's easy to add a stitch in there so we're going to very carefully go around we want to have 22 single crochets so in that same stitch we're going to do one and then two three four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, and go 18. So right now I'm in between that increase. Now we're going to go around under the knot. Hope that was 18 because I'm about to say 19. And then 20, 21, and 22. And I'm just bringing my stitch marker over from where it was. And I'm going to replace it right there. So that was one row of 22. We need three of them. So row five, another row of 22 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And if for some reason you don't have 22, you can always fix that by increasing or decreasing here in the last stitch. So that's two rows of 22. We need one more. So row six, another row of 22 single crochets. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 
17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And then we're just going to slip stitch and tie that off. Leave yourself this time enough of a tail to sew this part on. And what I do for a general rule is if I make sure it wraps around three or four times, I'm going to have more than enough. All right, grab a little bit of stuffing. That's probably too much. Oops, I didn't take that out. So with the bottom, just gonna stuff that in there. And then we're gonna place that. So with the bottom pointing down, I'm just going to place that kind of right across this line where the bottom of your eyes are. Grab your pins because this will be really helpful right now. And just make sure this line is straight across and you've got it pretty much centered between the eyes. And then I'm just going to start pinning. I like to start by pinning the top right in the center. And then I pin the bottom just kind of where it falls naturally. We don't want that white piece there. So I've got one in the top, one in the bottom. And then I'm just going to kind of eyeball how straight it is around the sides. And I'm going to put one on the very side over here. And don't worry about how you have it squished down right now. You'll fix that as you get going. So I'm kind of pinning it right kind of on the outside of this eye. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Make sure none of your stuffing is poking out. And then just double check, does it seem straight to you? Are you happy with where it's sitting? And then add more pins. So I like to kind of make sure this part goes straight. So I'll put a pin on each side there by the corner of the eye. Make sure you get both sides of that loop if you can. And then I'll reinforce the sides a little bit. You may have to pull it out a tad so it isn't um, kind of rounding on underneath itself. And notice I'm always kind of holding my thumb to keep it kind of in the same spot. far. And then always double check again that it's where you want it. I feel like this needs to be a little bit tighter. And make sure you're not covering your eyes up. And when you're happy with the amount of pins you have, I might just put one more down here for when I get back around. Two more, maybe. Put one pin in every stitch if you feel like you need to. The more secure it is, the straighter it will end up as you're going around sewing it. All right, grab your darning needle then. I'm going to use my metal one. Okay, 
and you're going to start, sorry this is kind of a hard spot to see, but you're going to go underneath where your first, your tie off knot is, around a stitch, and come out. Try not to get stuffing if you can help it. Oops, I'm around the pin. And then you're going to come back up that first stitch. And then you're going to go down the next stitch, around a stitch on the bottom of the head there, and out. You went down that stitch, so you're going to come up this next stitch. And just continue around exactly like that. So we're going down the next stitch. Around. And see how I'm staying underneath my piece I'm sewing on? It doesn't really matter so much right now if you've got the same color. But if you are using two different colors and you didn't stay underneath, you would see your stitch marks. So this is a good way to um, kind of disguise your little stitch marks as you're sewing around. And occasionally just double check that you are not moving your nose around at all. back and forth and then wrapping underneath a row or a stitch. And then when you get across here, make sure you stay in a line as you're going around. And that will help keep the top of his nose flat. And when you get to the second eye, just kind of pay attention to how you did the first eye, how close you were, what angle it's going at, and then that'll help with how straight it looks as well. Okay, maybe shouldn't have took that pin out yet. But I'm just pulling this up a bit on this side because it's quite high on this side. to the end here. Also make sure when you're pulling your stitches through that you're pulling them nice and tight and secure. started 
And I like to go one stitch past. So my knot, I think, was right about here. So I'm going to come up here. Go into the next stitch past where I knotted it off. And then go backwards to tie it. And then I just, I feel like it just is a little bit more secure. And then underneath, if you can, just grab a stitch and then you'll tie that off. See, I have way too much string still. And tie one or two knots right there. I'm going to do two. And then we'll just hide that out in the back. Try and go underneath so you can hide that knot under your nose. And then out the back. So I'm just giving that a good little tug. And then we'll cut that. Let's um, make his little nose next. So I'm doing mine to match his little paws. And we're again going to make our knot with the loop on the end. And I didn't really write this down, I was just kind of playing around, so I hope I remember what I did. I believe I chained three. One, two, three and then starting in this second chain from the hook you're going to do two single crochets across one two you're going to chain one and turn row three you row two you are going to do two increases for a total of four. So one increase, two increases. Chain one. And row three, you're going to do four increases across. So one increase, two increases, three increases, and four increases. So you should have a little bit of a triangle shape coming along right now. We're just going to single crochet down and then up and tie off over here. And there is no actual stitch count. Just kind of try and do about three or four on each side. So in this corner, I am going to do two. One and two in that first corner. Um, the third one, and then one in the end, I think. Turn it a bit. I'm going to put another one in that end. One or two up the side here. Just 
try and kind of watch it staying even. And then two in this end. And then slip stitch up top in that next stitch. Kind of got some holes in there I don't like. We might have to kind of squish them down and in when we put them on. All right, so we'll tie that off, leaving a little bit of a tail for sewing. We want to pos position that so this round piece is kind of just covering these white stitches here. So just kind of around here. So we're going to probably be going in here in that in between the first two rows of yellow. So let's get our pins again. So I'm going to pin the center. Make sure your sides are even. Oh, black was maybe not the best choice here. I guess you can see them still. And then we want to pin down on the bottom point. Well, I'm just kind of right around, just above where those um, center chain stitches are. Check your shape. Pin it again. However many pins you need. Take your yarn and thread it on. And you're going to do the same thing as when you did the muzzle. And this time you'll really notice the difference between the two colors and staying underneath. Whoop. So you're just going to start just under. Come up that next stitch. And we're just going around like we were before. Keep an eye that your nose is not moving because it will make a big difference. Just a little tiny, just a little tiny movement will change the alignment. Which one did I go down? I'm gonna go up this one. Where's my nose lined up here? Kind of just just kind of at the middle of the eyes, so I don't want to change that too much. Make sure you're staying underneath the nose. So you notice I'm not you're not seeing my brown yarn stitches. That's what you want to have it looking like.
make sure it's still straight. And then you're going to have to knot it somewhere in here. And I'm going to come down from this corner. And hopefully I don't move that piece too much. I'm just going to come under if I can. Maybe I should go up. Let's see. Make sure you're under the nose so that you're not seeing where this knot is going to be tied. But don't pull it too tight because you don't want to lose your point on this side of your nose. And then you're gonna have to get in there and find one of your little brown stitches. Ooh, there's one. I'm only going to tie this once because I am using this same string to go down and do the mouth. So I got a bit of a bump there that I'm going to have to pull out. So now I want to go down in there and I'm going to want to come out here right at the point of the nose. Um, see how there's the three chains you can see you want in that middle one and then I'm kind of come up to where I want the point of my nose and I'm just gonna kind of pull that Come down a couple of stitches, maybe just one, no, two, I guess. And now this is where the sides of your mouth are going to be. So I'm going to put mine right about there. I'm kind of right even. Because maybe I'll go one more down. I'm going to come back up into that same hole and now I got to match this one on this side. If I can get my needle twisted the right way. Nope. It's the only thing I, I don't like about these bent needles. I'm doing it left-handed too so that probably doesn't help. Just before you actually put it in, just kind of double check that that is where you want your other side angle. I think it's okay. So I'm going to put that in. Come back out somewhere over here. I never really thought about this part. I don't know where I'm tying it. <laughs> I'm just tying it in here. I'm just going to grab my first brown stitch where I went around and came up. Let me get in it and then I'll show you where I have it. So it's the stitch where we came down from the, we tied, came down from the corner of the nose and then came up. And I'm just underneath of it. I'm just going to tie my knot there. And 
and right now you can either take your string and go out the back or if you need to weave in some of these that's what I'm gonna do so I have that one little hole there so I'm just gonna put a little bit of filler in there with the brown that I'm already using just catch a stitch kind of like you're weaving the ends in on his nose <laughs> Just make sure you can't see your line of stitching that you're doing right now. And then I'm just going to go out the back somewhere. Whoop. There we go. Give that a cut. And you may have to unsmush him a little bit. Ah, now he's starting to look like we want him. All right, let's move on to the ears. All right, we're gonna be going back into going in the round. So you can start however you want, and I will be starting with my knot with the loop on the end. We're going to be putting eight in this, so if you need to adjust your loop size, do that. I'm going to insert my hook, grab my yarn, and chain one. And remember, that doesn't count as a stitch. That just attaches your yarn to your loop. And for row one, we're going to do eight single crochets into the loop over top of the tail. So one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And we, for row two, are going to do eight increases. So that's two single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 16. So increase. One and two, increase, three and four, increase, five and six, increase, seven and eight, increase, nine and ten, Increase, 11 and 12, increase, 13 and 14, increase, 15 and 16. Rows 3 to 5 are going to be 16 single crochets all the way around. So that's three rows of 16, and I'm going to do those consecutively. So that's three times 16 is 48. Yeah. And then I'll just flip my marker when I hit a set of 16. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
14, 15, 16, flip my marker, keep on counting, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, flip me my marker, keep on counting, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Now I'm going to take my stitch marker out. Now we're going to fold it in half. And we're going to do seven single crochets across through the front and the back. So insert in the next stitch and then the back stitch behind that. So one single crochet through both sides, two single crochets, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we'll just tie that off, leaving a little bit of a tail so we can sew this part onto the head. So if you've just done your first one, I will put a screenshot over in the next frame with a timestamp so you can go back and do um, your second ear. And if you're done your second ear, just keep on watching and we will continue on to the next part. Okay, we're going to need our pins back out. And I want to take my ear with the string at the top center. And I'm going to pin it just nice and centered down with the arms. So it's going to be it's going to be coming from the center here kind of just even with the middle of the arms. And in the second row where I'm going to put my first in between the second and the third. And then seven stitches down from that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I think that makes that about right in the same row that we inserted the eyes. I don't have those pins in there great, but let's put a couple more in. How can I get those in better? So if we poke them down and then put them on a 45 degree angle and push them in, they will stay in a little better. And then just double check your alignment. And then if you're happy with how you have it, 
and we'll start stitching them on. So we're going to start in the back side. So we're in row, um, so that's row one, row two, and we're just under row two here. I'm going to go around a row or a stitch. And then we're going to come up and go through the first stitch of those single crochets we made. And then we're going to come in this next row underneath. So we're just going down a row and through a stitch. Through the next stitch. So we should be doing that seven times. So now we're in the next row. Oops, are we? There we go. This pin is messing me up. And then through the stitch. And then down under that next row. Whoops. That's not good. And through the next stitch. I just kind of hold my thumb in the row I just went in so I kind of know where I'm at. So one row down and around that. In the next stitch. Down around the next row. Through the next stitch. And then this last row. And the last stitch. And I'm going to go in that one twice just for a little security because that's where I'm going to knot it. And then somewhere nice and close down on the back, we're going to tie a little knot. And then we're going to take that knot nice and close to the ear, down and out the back center somewhere. So we're going to look kind of like this. And now we need to do exactly the same thing on the other side. So with the string pointing to the center, we're going to go in um, under the second row. So row one, row two, and down in there behind that second row. Make sure you're aligned with the arms and the other ear. Have a little peek. Have a peek this way. And then we'll put the other pin and if you remember, we are even with the eye hole. So you can count down seven or you can just put it down in that same row. Again, double check that you have them straight and even. And then get your yarn on your needle. And we're going to do the same thing we did on the first side. So I'm going to insert my hook down in there and then get rid of my pin. And we're going to do the same thing around a row. 
into a stitch. And look what I did. I'm going to have to fix that after. Or now. Hmm. There we go. I wish I could get this closer for you guys. So we're in that row. We come around this row. Yeah, that's better maybe. Through the stitch. Around the next row. Through the stitch, around the next row, and make sure you're always catching um, the head when you're going through. Around the next row. Around the next row. Around the stitch. Around the next row. The stitch and then around that last row take that pin out in that last stitch And remember, I did that two times, so I'll do this side two times as well. Then tie your knot somewhere right close. And bring that out to match your other thread. Give it your tie. Now you can, if you want, do like you did with the arms. And pull those in. I don't think I'm going to, but let's just give it a check and see what it looks like. Oh. Actually, it's not bad. Actually, maybe I will. It does make his head a little more liney shaped. And then you just tie that off. And we'll hide those ends on the inside. I think let's do the eyebrows and then I will show you how I finished off the rest. So 
So I'm grabbing my brown. And we are going to go up one row um, above the eye and one row kind of in front of the eye. So, or one stitch. So there and about there. And that's going to be the front of our eyebrows. And if you know what you're doing, you can um, do these a little different and not um, have to do them half and half. But I never know which stitches to go in, so I like to um, do each side separately. So I think I'm going to go there. I'm just going to pin that. And then this side to match that. One, two, oh, I was three holes over. One, two, three. And down. I think I can go three over and down a row. So that's where I'm going. So I'm kind of two stitches behind um, the eye. So one, two. And then I went around twice. So he'd have a little thicker eyebrows. Um, if you're doing the girl, maybe you just do once. Maybe I'm going to do this one twice. This one's going to end up being a girl because I'm not doing the hair two times. And then when you're done the second time, just come out somewhere in the middle. And then I'm going to do the same thing, re-threading and on the other side. So if I start there, just behind the eye, one, two, it should be there. Seems a long ways, but oh, that'll, one, two, three, yeah, that'll work. So you're just basically trying to get them even and maybe a bit of an angle. So I'm going around twice and then coming up in the middle so I can tie my ends and put them out. And when you're tying this, tie it loosely so you don't pull your eyebrows together. Hmm, maybe the girl does not need wide eyebrows. We'll see. And then I'm just pulling that out and I'm going to tie that off. And you may have to just kind of close this hole up a little bit, depending on your needle and your knot. I almost forgot we need to give this guy a tail. So I'm just going to throw this in right here before we move on to the next part. So we're going to leave a little bit of a tail for tying. Make your knot with the loop. And we are going to chain 11. Um, you can make it as long or as short as you want. I just decided to go with um, a length of 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then in the second chain from the hook, we are just going to slip stitch all the way down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10. And then tie off leaving a tail on this side as well for tying.
and then you're going to grab your hair color and just you can just use your hand just wrap around the four or five times however many times you go around is going to double the amount whoop, the amount of hairs on the tail so you're going to cut that end and then you're going to cut down in the center so you have these short little lengths of hair and you're going to grab your tail and insert um, your hook in the end. Grab your yarn strings, double them over and you want to pull them all through. And then you want to pull them all through this loop and it's probably easier to do it by hand then all them on the hook and then just pull that tight and I do everyone individually to make sure that I get them all nice and snug and they're not going to come off of there there we go if you want, you can cut those a little shorter so they're all even. And then we are going to get our darning needle out again. And then somewhere around the eighth or ninth row, so I'm going to count... Um, this is our center, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm gonna go right about here, just kind of right about there, just kind of where he, his bum kind of rounds out there. I'm gonna thread one side. And make sure you're in the center of his bum. So actually I'm gonna move over one, two stitches and I'm gonna come down. Up one row and then I'm going to grab my other string that's where I put that one in so I'm going to go one stitch over and then I'm going to oh no I'm going to go two stitches over and then I'm going to come down where I went out with the other one so we're basically just kind of tying it around the row here. Tie it fairly tight and then we'll put these ends out. And cut them off. Oopies. Okay, now for the rest of the video, I'm just going to show you how to finish them off. And I'm not going to do that all with you. Because you don't need to see me do every foot um, with the little toes. And you don't need to see me put... 500 pieces of hair on on his uh, head so to do the little toes I just kind of found the center of his foot and I'm just gonna go in on the brown and I went one row up you can go two if you want but I liked one so I'm just having one row of yellow between Leave a little bit of a tail for tying. That is not centered very good. And I'm going to go around two or three times. 
and none, none of mine are straight just so if you're worried about how straight it looks none of mine were straight either <laughs> so this will be our third time so I'm going to go over one stitch on whoops one stitch on the bottom and it'll be two stitches on the top So I'm going to come over here. So that's one, two. Then I just go in three times there. Oh, I didn't even go in an actual stitch there. <sighs> I've been doing this too long today, I guess. There we go. So three times, that's once. twice and then in the third time and then I'm going to come over to the other side one stitch over one hole over and two holes over here so one two and go around three times Then when you come in down your last time, come out where you started. And then you'll tie those ends and bring them on the inside. Careful not to pull too tight. Okay, so you will do that to the other three paws and then I will show you how I did the hair. So originally I started going just the back hair. So I took a piece of my thread and it doesn't have to be brown. I just happen to have brown now. And I pinned the first one up here in the center because my first round of my first round of hair is going to start six pieces in this loop. And then I pulled it behind the ears and kind of came down straight. Kind of angled from the ear to the arm. And then I pinned about halfway, a little more than halfway down his nose. And then did the same thing on the other side. You'll probably end up moving these a little bit as you go. So just temporarily like this. And then my hair is going to go around and then back forth, back forth on every single stitch until I got to about here. And then I'll just show you how I did that. So to make the main pieces, I'm just going to show you with a scrap piece of yarn. I did, I think, three fingers wide and I just wrapped around and around probably about 40 times. And then when I got... Um, kind of back and forth enough times. I would cut my end string, take these off my fingers, and I would cut them like this down the center, and then I'd have these short little pieces. And to put them on, all I did just kind of like the old latch hook type. You'll stick your hook down. 
picked a good stitch for that. And through, you grab your middle of your string, pull it through, make sure it's even, then you grab those two strings and you pull them through. And there's your little pieces of mane. Now I would suggest doing all the back first and then if you want, put a line in the front. I'm not sure he needed the line in the front. So you can see what mine looks like with it in the front. So if you do like that, all I did was put one row in front of the ear there. And I don't think, no, I didn't even go um, down this side. And then I did think after I did this, I needed one more row in the front. So let's see. Where's my original loop? So my original loop is right, hairs are right here. So I originally had it to there. And then I decided I needed to go one more to match these front pieces. And I was going to go all the way around, but once I got to about here, I thought, you know, that kind of already is hanging funny at the bottom, so I'm just going to leave it like that. And then I stopped about here, but I think he could almost use a few more rows of hair in the back so when it falls it's not um doesn't look too short in the back oh we forgot his tail okay i'm gonna have to go back and put his tail in at some point um hold on i better do that right now And there we go. Whether you make one or both of these little guys, I hope you enjoyed crocheting with me. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Not only does that help me out, but you will also be notified every time I load a video. And I've also recently learned there is a little button or bell or something you can hit for notifications. I can't find it been told if you don't hit it you might not get notifications but when I load videos I do hit a little um, check that says notify subscribers and of course any likes comments and shares are always appreciated and like always take care be safe and happy crocheting <laughs>